Hi everyone, I'm John Timmerman. And I'm Lindsay Dillon. And we have a very large announcement to make. We are starting a business together. Yay! Yay! Uh, that's probably not what you thought we were going to say, uh, oh, but we thought it would be pretty funny anyways. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, we are starting a business together and <clears throat> we're filming this for a very good reason, which Lindsay will tell you about in just a second. Um, but we are starting a business and we want to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about it. Um, and it kind of stemmed from the idea, uh, first that, um, a lot of us have large cell phones and you can't really sit down with a cell phone like that in your pocket comfortably, right? It digs into your hip. Um, you can't put it in your back pocket because it feels like it's going to fall out. So that's where the idea stemmed from is to create a pair of jeans that allows uh, people with iPhone 6S Pluses or Galaxy Notes or any of the other massive phones. Uh, to create a nice little pocket that it fits in almost like a gun holster on your uh, on your leg, on your thigh. Um, for that reason, I think I've been thinking about calling it the gunslinger pocket. But yeah. anyways, so that's where the idea stemmed from, but then it grew from there. Um, <clears throat> it grew into an idea of creating a stronger brand for stronger people. Um, so outside of just creating a jean company, we wanted to try to create a brand that epitomizes um, building a stronger community by building stronger people. Um, and so you'll learn a lot more about the company as we film more of these shows, um, where we're headed, the ideas that we have, um, what you can expect, a little bit more about who we are. Um, but uh, I'll let Lindsay tell you a little bit more about why we're filming these. Um, shows or why we're filming the show uh, and what you can expect. So we thought it would be really cool to film kind of us in the midst of when we're figuring this out, right? You have We have a lot of ideas and a lot of thoughts about what we want this to be, what this could be, all the different directions that we can take it in. Um, and a lot of you out there, I'm sure, also have ideas of your own. Um, there aren't really any shows, I think, where people kind of start filming from the beginning and have these conversations in the midst of a relationship, in the midst of figuring out where they want to take this this very small and very big idea that they have and how it kind of starts and where it goes along the way and where it ends up at the end. So we thought that would be pretty cool to, to kind of document, but also to invite you to all come along with us and get some feedback from you and, and you know, the questions that we have and how we kind of figure it out together and, and have you guys participate. Yeah, so we think it'll be pretty exciting. You'll get to learn more about who we are. Um, you'll get to learn more about what it takes to start a company. Um, you'll learn about our failures. You'll learn about our successes, what we're struggling with, uh, what's going really well. Um, and like Lindsay said, it will be really cool to get your feedback on what the best way is to, to create this company. And we're gonna use this show as a kind of a, an ongoing survey to try to create the best product, the best brand that we possibly can because ultimately it's a business, right? It needs to make money, it needs to sell, it has to have great products, uh, and we need to serve uh, our community and our audience uh, in order to make it thrive and make it grow. And so there's a couple interesting pieces that we have that I'll, that I'll touch on, some ideas just to kind of get, your, um, get you a little bit more excited and into what we're doing, but I talked a little bit about the gene company and that we're creating genes that um, that help kind of epitomize that stronger community. But it's not just having a cell phone pocket in the genes, right? Um, we've we've gone beyond that. We want to create genes that uh, really are are going back to the roots, essentially, right? Genes were created in the United States well over a hundred years ago. I think it was 1873. They were created to create a stronger piece of clothing for cowboys and miners, um, not miners like under 18, miners like coal miners. Uh, blue collar people. <laughs> blue collar people, right. So we wanted to kind of bring that back. There's, there's so many jeans out there now that are, you know, roughed up and they have holes in them and they look great, but you know, they're not functional. So we want to make jeans that look great, that fit great, 
that are strong and durable, that are functional, um, you know, kind of bringing it back to those, those roots, but then also creating a brand beyond that, uh, that gene that, um, that helps to build people up and become stronger. Um, and we came up with the idea of trying to give back and take a piece of what we earn. And we don't know how we're going to do it, whether it's going to be a percentage or, or how we're going to do it, but, but we're essentially going to try to create a nonprofit that helps to make families stronger. Um, Lindsay, you have a background in uh, family therapy. Um, and I'll let you talk a little bit about that if you want. Um, yeah. Um, so I work with a lot of families um, and a lot of, of teenagers, at-risk youth, who just have any type of behavioral issue, any type of behavioral expression, hey, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, and it's really just kind of an indication that we look at working with the whole family. And it, the, the biggest thing I've kind of learned in working with a lot of families over the past number of years is that a lot of families are struggling out there in their own way, whether it's a loss of a job or increased, you know, healthcare, medical costs, or, you know, it's their first time parenting a teen and they're not really sure how to, how to figure it out. Um, but it's really hard on everybody. Um, and, and kind of figuring out a way to help entire families and kind of pull us together is, is really important work that we've thought a lot about and we want to be able to give back and that by you know this the stronger brand it isn't just about making a stronger one fr stronger family but a stronger community <clears throat> a stronger nation and that when we all work together it's about all of us lifting each other up absolutely um so yeah we're we're uh we're starting at ground level here yeah uh maybe even sub sub Subground level. Let's give us a little credit. Let's yeah. give us a ground level. Yeah. So <laughs> this is really early on, and um, you know you're not even going to be able to search very much to find the stronger gene company out there when you see this. So this truly is the very beginning, and um, you're going to get to see the whole entire thing unravel before your eyes. So it's it's really cool for us, and hopefully going to be really cool and valuable for you. Um, Which I think is why we really thought about kind of filming this, right? Because we looked and thought, hey, let's let's do a little looking. Let's <coughs> see if there's anybody that we can see, you know, how early did they kind of start, you know, producing or putting out any content, any shows, any videos, um, podcasts or YouTube, um, just to kind of put it out there. And, and how early in that process did they do it? And there wasn't a lot of that. And we thought, well, wouldn't that be something cool to kind of ride along with somebody on that? Like how journey. cool would it be if Phil Knight from Nike, you know, filmed like him starting the company, right? And you could go back and see him when he first had an idea of creating athletic wear or, you know, the founders of Gatorade or, you know, whatever it might be, right? So you can look up the stories on Wikipedia, but how cool would it be to see it from the founders themselves, um, yeah. you know, if that capability was around at that time. So, um, yeah, it's a really cool, yeah. cool idea. Um, so... That's pretty much it for this show. Uh, it's Easter Sunday, so we're going to head to brunch, uh, hence why we're dressed so pastel -y. Uh Yes. pastel -y. I just made up, made up a word, I think, there. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Anyways, but um, we are going to ask questions at the end of hopefully every show where we get people's feedback, and no matter if two people watch this show or a hundred or a thousand, uh, we would really love it. For every single person watching this show, if you could answer one question for us, you can answer it right in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, uh, Twitter, wherever you're watching it, try to comment or respond with an answer uh, to what are some of the best uh, traits or qualities that you find in the jeans that you love and what are some of the things that you hate about buying jeans or... Um, or wearing jeans, right? Deal breakers. Yeah. What are your deal breakers? What do you want and don't want in a pair of jeans? Guys and girls, by the way. All different types of fits. Let us know. It would it would greatly uh, it would it would it would help us a ton just to kind of get some bigger perspective. So that's yeah. it. Thank you everybody. Have a great Easter Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. Bye. Bye.